All right, it's 11.11. We're gonna go ahead and get started and, and hopefully folks will figure out that they should start filtering into rooms because there's just not gonna be as much interesting conversation in the hallway. Um, my name is Dormain Drewitz. I'm on the Pivotal team. My name is Ben Kranich. Oh, wow, that was loud. My name is Ben Kranich. I'm from uh, SAP, working in SAP Cloud Platform as a technical lead. Um, and so we had the pleasure of co-chairing this track, which is the user stories track. A um, little bit of background, I guess, for folks. How many folks, this is their first CF Summit? Okay. Well, welcome. All right, welcome. Um, a little bit of history there for a long time was a Cloud Foundry in the enterprise track, um, which was really kind of the one place where, you know, very consciously the user stories could be uh, sort of funneled into. And over the years, we started to get a lot of user stories. Um, and so some of us were advocating to the foundation to make a little bit more room in the overall agenda at CF Summit to, to kind of make it obvious for folks who were submitting that they had lots of places where they could share their stories. So this has kind of evolved. And this year you'll find, especially in the hallway, you know, Cloud Foundry for um, business, Cloud Foundry for developers, Cloud Foundry for operators, and um, even in the, the kind of extensions and Cloud Foundry 101 uh, sort of core technical tracks, you'll actually find user stories distributed across all of them because there's so much participation from end users at this conference, which is one of the reasons I think it's very special. Um, and so, you know, this one we kind of had to evolve what the user stories was really going to be about. So I don't know if you want to say a few words about that. Right. So basically we had a conversation uh, around how are we going to like select the talks. So you essentially get way more submissions than we, we have slots in, in the track. So uh, we had a conversation around how we would actually uh, select stuff. Uh, and basically we said, yeah, we want to hear end user stories. So. Uh, and, and then we had an interesting conversation around like what's with operators? Are these end users in the definition of that track? And I think we concluded and said yes, of course, like operators are end users too. Yeah. So that's how we how we came to the selection and it's a mix of end user, end users and operator end user stories. Um, and there's a lot of benefit of kind of sometimes hearing the failure stories, right? Hearing the challenges and I, as you know, in the in, at Pivotal in our customer marketing group, we get asked, "Okay, it's great to hear the successes, but you know, we need to hear the hard stuff too." And so there are a couple of talks in particular in the lineup today that are very focused around, you know, things got hard, and here's how we work through them. So just to kind of quickly give you a preview of what's in store in this particular track today. Um, you know, we'll, we're going to start off with Bhavani from NASDAQ, which is kind of a new user, user story. And so in terms of what we've seen through the years, haven't uh, sort of hear, heard a talk from NASDAQ. So I'm excited about that. And the .NET angle was also interesting. Um, and so, you know, always want to kind of, that's an important workload in a lot of enterprises. And so how are people navigating, uh, you know, where they're running their .NET? If you want to take the next one? Sure, of course. Then we, we'll hear from... Um Stark and Wayne uh, about a uh, story around uh, data centers exploding ultimately. Uh, but then li like that story turning out in, in a good way, so it's called a success story. Uh, yeah. Curious to hear how they turned that uh, catastrophic situation into a success ultimately. Yeah, and that's one where they're, they're a vendor working very closely with end users. So, you know, looking through the actual description of the abstract, it was based on something that happened with one of their clients. So sort of a proxy for the end user. Um, the next one after that the, is, a, is a deep dive. So just a heads up, um, this is the, the third one that we have lined up here is a 60 minute session. All the other ones are 30 minute sessions. So here we're going to hear from, from State Farm and the, the, you know, the cracks in the foundation definitely got my attention, right, in terms of what are some of those failure stories, what are some of those challenge stories that we can all sort of learn from. Um, and, you know, usually there's kind of, there's, there's sunshine at the other end of the rainbow, but there's some storm clouds, uh, you know, along the way. And, uh, you know, also State Farm, uh, again, uh, an end user that we haven't heard from at CF Summit. So having the opportunity to get that story out was definitely one we wanted to select. 
Right, then the next one, the local heroes from Comcast, uh, ultimately, and I, I guess we've already heard yesterday and, and also today around the, the scale at which they are using Cloud Foundry. So uh, Tim is, is going to talk about how they were actually overcoming challenges when it comes to scaling Cloud Foundry to levels that I, I think only very few Cloud Foundry um, users have have reached and and so it's good for like everybody who who is on that journey to basically see what what's ahead of them and, and how to um also deal with uh certain uh situations and, and challenges when, when it comes to scaling up yeah absolutely one of those we can all learn together um from those who forged the path ahead the the next talk after that the air force um actually last year in boston we had a couple of talks from the air force so we've been hearing a little bit from them this one caught my attention because the the uh, tested air force i've i've confirmed the af stands for air force just <laughs> in case anyone was wondering um uh got that one in writing but testing all the things something that you know, personally, I feel really passionate about. I see someone in their concourse team T-shirt over there. Um, but just you know, for the customers that we see, see that are really successful on the platform, you know, thinking about how uh, you know, writing the tests and implementing the test automation, and kind of going beyond sometimes the obvious of the unit tests, um, it seems to be really critical in success. And so, having a, a user like the Air Force that's that you know been deploying a lot of really critical systems onto Cloud Foundry, sharing some of their wisdom from that seemed like a really valuable story to share. And then last but not least, like I, I talked about Comcast being on the upper scale of Cloud Foundry consumption. The last one is uh, Jared from DemandBridge, uh, accompanied by Brian from Stark and Wayne, uh, talking about how a small business can actually benefit from Cloud Foundry and, and how uh, also focusing on the core business and, and core business values um, basically made them successful using Cloud Foundry. Yeah, oh, it's, uh, I think sometimes there's a little bit of a, a notion that, oh, Cloud Foundry is only for like giant enterprises. And so it definitely stood out to us that, oh, you know, this is kind of one of those stories that I think will help um, challenge that perception of the project. Uh, so looking forward to hearing that. We've got um, just two minutes. Uh, I think we'll kind of, unless there are any questions, Usually there's not a lot of deep questions for the track intro, but... That was the easy part. I'm like always. the speakers have now uh, the harder part. <laughs> I'm always willing to be proven wrong. Um, with that, we'll, we'll have Bhavani and Amadav come up to, to help set up. So uh, enjoy the day. Make sure you're live tweeting. And, um, and thank you for being here. Thanks.